I'm thinking of, of creating some t-shirts. One that says, I like Grant Cohn, and another one that says, I hate Grant Cohn. I think people might want to buy them. Yeah, exactly. I think so. Because, okay, the other day, I was getting my hair cut um, in, in Oakland, and it, it was like an outdoor barbershop, and a dad and his son walked by. The son's like 13, and the dad's probably 50. And they both look at me, and they're like, and it's like, they're cl it's clear they know who I am. But neither one smiles, and they both kind of whisper at each other. And I'm like, oh, I think they don't like me. I think they know who exactly who I am. And they're like, hey, screw that guy. That's, that's Grant right there. So I'm thinking there's certain people who like me. There's certain people who really don't. And I should be able to profit off of both subsections of, of society. So I'm going to think about that. Just T-shirts. If you want an I Hate Grant Cohn T-shirt, let me know. I will make those for you and charge you $28.99. So you can express your hatred after paying me. Dad, yeah. let's say what? What? Yeah, I was going to say, it's very hard to hate Iggy. I mean, he's really a nice guy. And one thing about him, he's very silly. Have you seen his videos where he takes credit for the, the Niners beating the Rams? I'm 100% serious in those videos, Dad. Are you kidding? And I'm the leader of the team. The, the Committee of Common Sense, is that what it was called? It's fantastic. That way I can just stand on the sideline every once in a while, walk up to Kyle Shanahan, take his, his headset off, pull one ear and say, Kyle, run the freaking ball. And then I'm done. And then I, and then I earn my paycheck for the day. Okay. Are we going to answer questions? Yeah, guys, ask some football questions and we will answer them. We got about 15 more minutes. Guy says, your vlog is better than your blog. You're very funny on camera. I'm very silly. I can be silly. You're very silly. Remember that time in, in Hawaii when we were- I knew we you were, were going to bring it up. Tell the story. We were in- uh, This is my favorite thing I ever did. We were in- <laughs> I was 14 and we were in Hawaii. We had just gotten snorkel stuff and we were practicing in the pool. I don't know why we were practicing, but we were like in the shallow end snorkeling around. And I saw like a bunch of 30 year olds in the in the hot tub, like socializing, you know what I mean? Like, you know, they and were- wine, and drink, wine. You, know, like, you know, probably singles talking to each other and trying to talk about politics <laughs> and stuff. So- I had to say, Dad, watch this, watch this, watch this. So I, I got out of the pool with my flippers on and my snorkel on and just walked into the hot tub and sat there with a very straight face for about 10 minutes. And the 30 year olds they couldn't, they couldn't acknowledge me. So they just, they all looked at me and they kept talking and they just pretended that there wasn't a kid sitting there snorkeling in the hot tub for 10 minutes. And I, that's pretty much my sense of humor. I try to pull off weird stuff with a straight face and usually I can. Usually. Iggy, I almost drowned in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> the best was how they wouldn't look at me. It's like, no, it's not it happening. It's not happening. That there wasn't a crazy child there, right? It's not happening. It's definitely not. <laughs>